right, so I just had all the boxes of school supplies stacked up right here and they just tumbled over. So I'm not gonna restack that up. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be sharing our huge homeschool school supply haul. We have had the privilege of receiving some funds from our state. It's like a one-time fun thing that they were doing based off of 2020 and kids being out of school and us homeschooled families got a chance to take advantage of that too. So I had a couple, I had a couple of hundred dollars left over and I decided to get some school supplies. So let's see what I got because I don't remember. <laughs> So my daughter is going to be doing living arts education with master books this year. And so a lot of the art supplies, I assume, is what's going to be in this, in this haul. I should have probably opened up these boxes before the haul, but then it wouldn't be an authentic haul, right? I just realized that I don't even have my mic attached so hopefully you can hear me i'll try to project <laughs> all right this entire box has two things in it so there's that so my son is going to be doing algebra coming up pre-algebra coming up sometime soon so i decided to grab some of these compasses for him and I believe the art curriculum also required a compass as well. So got two compasses. All of these are from Staples. I don't know if I mentioned that, but they came in these nice little sleeve protectors, which is nice. Literally big box, one thing. Okay, so the next thing I got was, see, was what are these? What kind of ink are these? Was some pigment-based ink. I don't know if that makes it any more special, but their pens, they're supposed to be like, I guess, special art pens. I don't know. I don't know much about art, but these are the ones I was told to get. So these are the ones that I got. So this is like a whole box of them. If you guys know anything about art, you can let me know why these pens are the bomb.com, but they're Uniball Onyx pens supposed to be really really nice and I'm a sucker for a good pen so I'll let you know if they're good next thing I got was some pencil pouches I'm going to be teaching four kiddos seven and under and we needed some new pencil pouches for them so I got some of those like to keep all the school supplies together but I find that for certain things it's best for everyone to just have their own pencil pouch Half of this is taking so long because I have to open up all these boxes. The one thing that's in this box is erasable highlighters. Now I've heard some good things about these erasable highlighters and I'm so excited to use them for planning and different things like that. So I grabbed a pack of erasable highlighters and I'm hoping that my son can use them as well with his planning, my oldest son. This one looks a little feels a little heavier than one thing we'll see if that's true all right so in here we've got some post-its I don't know if you can see hold on let me get a little closer but I got the post-its with the lines on them so they've they kind of look like notebook paper a little bit so that you're we're, I'm able to write in a straight line on it and for notes and different things like that i got a composition book graph for my son who is can you see that so it's kind of like graph paper but in a composition book because for math i have certain kiddos who they do really really well with using graph paper to help them line up their numbers so I grabbed a composition book for that with the graph paper in it. In here is 25 two pocket folders that they can use for housing. If I can ever open this, there we go. For housing, different things. So I homeschool 
two of my friends little girls and so if i need to send them home with different things on a weekly basis i'm thinking about using these two pocket folders as well as my kiddos they go to co-op and to house their co-op work and different things like that so i grabbed a box of those why i got purple i don't know i like purple <laughs> all right this one's a little heavy all right a ton of things in here all right so i got some watercolor painting things for painting palettes for my daughter as well as my littles they're going to be doing artistic pursuits year one so both of those required watercolor palettes that are not just the one row one but the one that has level two colors i don't know it's called it's called artista two so it's got more colors than that i also grabbed a ton of these twistable colored pencils i grabbed about six of them because of the fact that these colored pencils work really really well for identifying which colored pencils are ours and which are other people's whether we're taking color pencils to church or whether we are taking color pencils to co-op those different types of stuff it just helps us be able to differentiate okay we brought the twistable ones let's grab those and head out in addition to that i find the pencil sharpening is really annoying and so with the twistable ones i don't have to constantly worry about my my color pencil broke i need to sharpen it blah 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 blah, blah. i don't have to worry about that so i grabbed a ton of those I, I did grab a couple of the bigger color pencils, but they are for littles. So I grabbed them for my, I grabbed them for my baby so that he can utilize colored pencils as well, but they're thicker for his grasp. I got two of those because school supplies don't last all year long. I got some of these because they didn't have the twistable colored ones with the skin color ones. And I got the, these for my daughter for when she's working on her art. I also grabbed some oil pastels for, to go in her art kit as well for uh, the master books art. We also got some paint brushes, several packs of, of different shaped paint brushes two of the oil pastels some more twistable colored pencils i guess i got more than six he's got an eight yeah i got eight things of twistable colored pencils keep in mind i do homeschool a lot of kids so <laughs> another some more brushes so got three packs of brushes three packs of oil pastels and eight twistable colored pencils I also got the primary journals. I love these journals for writing and teaching kids writing. The, the wonderful thing about them is that up top, you've got a space for drawing. So every single day we do a writing prompt with a space for them to draw what they write. And they absolutely love doing this. And so I grabbed a couple more of these journals for us they're great for k through two but i have a daughter who loves to draw she's the one that's doing the master books and she does the one with she asked, specifically asked for the one with for her mm, she specifically asked for the one with the space for her to draw so that she can draw her daily writing prompt as well kind of stuff in here Okay, so I got three of, no, four packs of these like graphite drawing sets. And I believe that was a requirement of the kit as well as artistic pursuits. So I grabbed a couple of those. I also got some tissue paper as well and that's for both artistic pursuits and my daughter's master books okay so all right so in addition to the simple colored pencils 
they also have, which I'm sure everybody's aware, but if you didn't know, I just love these so much because cray crayons are like a nightmare. <laughs> But these are so much easier to navigate through. And these are the twistable crayons as well. And I got the ones that have regular colors, but then they also have like fun effects ones, which have like different type of colors all in there. So it makes like a rainbow type of effect. So this pack, this 24 pack, I got three of them. It comes with neon colors on the bottom, then metallic colors in the middle, and then swirly colors up top. And they're gonna love that. That's gonna be so much fun. Fun first day of school, school themed gifts that they're gonna really, really enjoy. So I got some small Expo markers, some small Expo dry erase markers, as well as these have protractors, as well as two protractors. I stand up to open this one. All right. This one I'm gonna have to put on the floor. Okay. 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 I grabbed four sketch pads, sketchbook pads, some more protractors. My daughter's art curriculum required some ultra fine tipped permanent markers, which honestly, I might use these because they're so cute and I got two packs and I love like fine tip things. So grab two of those. Obviously some construction paper, some watercolor, um, some watercolor pads. Now both artistic pursuits and the master books art required that. Some cardstock paper, some air dry clay, but like tubs of air dry clay. I actually still need to get another tub because there was one that required white and gray and I didn't grab the gray. So air tub, air, air dry clay. Some, now these, I'm like really, really particular about markers because my kids tend to lose them like a lot or like leave the tops off for them and they dry out. So m the master books curriculum called for it. So my older ones get these, not my younger ones. And these are the super tipped washable markers as well as just the regular Crayola markers. Some scissors, but like heavy duty because I realized I only had like the teeny tiny scissors and I needed to get like some school, some big scissors for her. Some tape. I got two things of tape. Some erasers. I got some latex free erasers. A box of Sharpies, which is absolutely terrifying with a toddler, but she needs it. It did her specific, my oldest, my oldest daughter's curriculum did require regular color pencils. I'm like, what does it matter whether it's regular or twistable? But that's fine for her. She can have the regular <laughs> color pencils, but she's a sharpener too. She she's gonna be sharpening 24-7. And some triangular crayons for my toddler. Those are the best for working on their grass and different things like that and that is it that is all of the supplies if you'd like to see what else she my daughter is doing besides art check out this video right here